Thank you. Uh, hello from us. We're um, really glad to be here today, especially after such beautiful music from uh, Ravi Shankar and Alaraka and Mr. N.C. Mullick. Most beautiful music, most beautiful. So we're very honored to follow them on this stage. And uh, we'd like to dedicate this concert to them today for the inspiration they give us all. Yeah. This is, uh, we're going to open with a piece we feel is most appropriate. It's called Meeting with the Spirits.
very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let me introduce my brother musicians. On drums we have Billy Cobham. On bass, Rick Laird. On organ, piano, Jan Hammer. Jan Hammer. Violin, Jerry Goodman. Thank you. If you identify with these thoughts, you know, unless they're really divine thoughts, which invariably they're not, then, uh, then you're lost if you identify with your thoughts, you know, because they're not you. We are not thoughts, you know. We're just the soul. We're the soul. Um, and that technique you refer to is just seeing thoughts as a sky, as, in, as a cloud in the sky. And the sky is your heart, really, you know. The sky is like the pure consciousness, you know. And clouds come into the sky and they appear, because they might come from without, you know, they might not just come from, they might, you might not be thinking thoughts, only thoughts, we pick up things all the time, you know, you know, and thought comes in. But if you, as soon as you identify with it or give consciousness to it, that means you're giving it your life. It survives only through your life, but if you merely observe dispassionately, then it'll, it'll just pass through you and eventually, ultimately, one of the, the ideal states of meditation is thoughtlessness. I don't mean that in its usual sense, you know, but in, in the sense that there is no thought, there is only consciousness. There's no more thought, you know, and in that state, that's when things, that's the, really the beginning, is when, when there are no more thoughts, you know. And then you allow the, the real being, which is living behind the conscious aspects that we all feel and see. You know, there are mighty powers behind us. There's a mighty being that supports us. The eternal, the mightiest being supports us. He's there all the time, you know. She is there all the time. Only due to uh, surface consciousness, you know, superficial kind of consciousness, uh, then we are unaware of it. But in the state of meditation or where thoughts no longer arise because you don't give many life to, you know. That's when things really start happening. That's when you start getting deep into yourself. Do you see that happening with more and more people as uh, sure. within yourself constantly higher and, and with other people reading? Sure, I mean, every, evolution, you know, is the, the spiritual path is just the harmony of, the, of, of God's law, which is evolution, which is evolution towards what? Perfection. That's what we came from, that's what we're going back to. The spiritual path is just about that, you know. And I see it happening more and more. It's true, there are more and more people becoming aware of, of another kind of reality, you know. And this is what's important, you know, to become aware of, you know, we all have different kinds of consciousness, you know. And uh, some people are not too happy with the state of affairs. Which is a step, the first step toward a state towards aspiring towards a better reality is being really unhappy with the one you have. You know. We're gonna do a piece now that uh, we recorded, and just for those people who are interested, it's in 10-8 and goes into 20. <laughs> and this is a piece called "The Dance of Maya."
into things you have to get deeply into yourself otherwise how are you going to be fulfilled unless you feel deeply and live deeply how can you be fulfilled you know and there's only one when that's going deep inside meditate and work you know devote yourself to a higher ideal the highest ideal ideally speaking 
You know, by doing that, you grow into your ideal. You know. I'm quiet. It's called Dawn.
I mean, we are immortal and eternal, only we're just bound up in ignorance. We don't know it. Yeah. But we have to. That's what we're here for. Sure. What are we here in life for, you know? What are we on earth for? What's your role? What's your mission on earth? You know, you have something really important to do here. You know? And there's and that mission is bound up with your soul. You know? So to become aware of your soul, there's only one way. A special path. You really become aware of it. <laughs>